What's going on guys, it's Rated here, welcome back to the channel today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a brand new video, this is going to be how you can pretty much secure yourself a V2 rocket 100% of the time within Call of Duty World War 2, yes, I found out a little room in Winter Carantan, and it's by far the best method so far, so hopefully you guys go ahead and enjoy it, if you manage to get a V2 rocket, let me know down in the comment section below, and a like is greatly appreciated on this video, if you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you guys go ahead and do so, as I'm going to be posting a ton more videos here on the channel and with that said let's begin so as you can see i'm running to a special area on the map this room right here is key you guys are going to need to run the expeditionary class along with that you guys are going to need a bouncing betty and a weapon of your choice I'm going to be using the Gua as it's one of my favourite weapons in Hardcore at least anyway. Bear in mind you probably want to play Hardcore especially when going for this V2 rocket as you guys can literally spawn trap over and over again. Now two game modes which I did find out the best for this is Domination as you guys can literally watch their spawn if you have the two flags which is A and B or B and C. So just bear that in mind whatever spawns you guys are on you're going to need to, to spawn in this back area of the map. Now Kill cool Confirmed also works great as you guys are going to be seeing by this gameplay it's absolutely insane i managed to go on like a 42 kill streak i do believe in one of the clips i did get two recordings of this and i probably will show both of them in this video but as you can see i'm literally picking off the enemies they literally don't know where i am because it's in hardcore and for those ones who actually do figure out where i am it's very hard for them to actually pick off a shot on me especially because i have a greater reaction time than them as they can't really pick me from a good angle whereas i can myself now this room is great because there's literally only two entrances one of them which being the stairs and the other one being the ladder where you have to jump through the window so that one literally nobody comes through there just purely because you're going to be camping there and they can't actually spawn in that general direction now so far using this method i've been able to rack up a ton of xp especially when playing hardcore kill confirmed as i've been getting around 43,000 xp per game when getting a v2 rocket and in my opinion that's great considering it's double xp weekend and i'm able to rank up very fast i'm currently ninth prestige in the game haven't even got four days played in the game so far so in my opinion that's great stats and i've pretty much been playing each double xp weekend whenever it's been available to play Now for some reason if this double XP weekend does end and you guys can't actually play Winter Carantan with the double XP active all you guys are going to need to do is check out a video I will link at the end of this one. It's actually a method on how you can get unlimited double XP within Call of Duty World War 2. Yes you heard it correct a method on how to get unlimited double XP. Definitely try that one out if you haven't already and if for some reason this Winter Carantan map does get removed from the playlist. Don't worry, you can still search for normal hardcore game modes and it will still put you in this map for free without even purchasing the map. Now I do have a few other spots on different maps, so let me know down in the comment section below if you'd like to see this one. One of them being Gibraltar, that map is absolutely insane for VT Rockets as well. You can literally use the same method, but instead of putting a bouncing betty in a room, you guys can just put it on the MG turret where people run through the map, which is a pretty populated area. Not only that, but this method does work on pretty much every single map as long as there's a building where it only has two entrances, one of them which you can cover and peek out the windows and another one where you can actually just have your Bounce and Betty sitting there. Now, the great thing about the Expeditionary class is that you can actually just get Bounce and Bettys over and over again as it does give you a refill on your lethal and tactical grenades. For example, my lethal is a Bounce and Betty. So each time my Bounce and Betty does go off, I go ahead and actually place one back down in the same position it was at. The very rare occasion is somebody's running armoured and they actually get past your bouncing betty But if that happens you do get a notification on screen and simply just camp them out and wait till they actually peek the corner and kill them Then place your bouncing betty on the floor yet again now hopefully this does help many players out there to get a V2 rocket as in the past few days I managed to pull off like 5 V2 rockets and it's pretty much been my first time on actually getting a V2 rocket after figuring out this little method. I'll be definitely using this on different maps other than Winter Carantan but in my opinion the spawns on Winter Carantan are messed up so badly that you can literally just sit in one position and watch them spawn over and over again. Now this doesn't only work on this side of the map it also works on the other side of the map which is great in my my opinion as you can literally have two people camping both spawns if you wanted to jump in the lobby with your friend as long as you're not collecting the tags 
As long as you're not collecting your dog tags in Kill Confirmed, the game will last for around 10 minutes, allowing you guys to get your streaks over and over again and getting your V2 rocket up in the sky. Now the one thing which I did find out which did kind of suck is that you actually run out of ammo quite easily as you guys can see I managed to actually pick up a few different weapons in this gameplay due to me running out of ammo but don't worry I definitely recommend you guys running scavenger if you're not running primed as I was running primed just in case an enemy did manage to shoot me as the flinch wasn't that high anyway. Now if you guys don't have any of the DOC weapons like the Girl or the Sten or even the GPMG, definitely go ahead and try this out with a bar or the FG42 or even an SVT or M1A1 carbine. Those are both great weapons as well and I definitely recommend you guys trying this out if you haven't managed to get a V2 rocket in the game this far. Now I have to say when you call in the V2 rocket it's pretty satisfying especially when you go ahead and manage to get on like some crazy kill streak like 42 kill streak is very rewarding unfortunately there are no special calling cards but I do believe once the V2 rocket is called in your team gets double XP for the rest of the game which is also a nice addition so as you guys can see I'm going back into the position getting a few more kills just so I can rack up on that quadruple XP after calling in that V2 rocket. Now like I did say I managed to go on like 42 kill streak in this gameplay and for some reason my paratroopers did wonders in this game as well. They managed to get me a few more kills once I did get that unstoppable medal and actually get my highest kill streak in this game so far. Now at first when I played Winter Carantan it wasn't my favourite map at all. I actually hated the map purely because of the reason people were camping in the buildings up above and I wasn't too familiar with this map. But then I thought to myself well what about if I go ahead and actually try out this method. I ended up trying it and it worked like a charm for myself and many other players. I do know Dismo actually told me he was using this method once I did tweet out a picture of me getting two V2 rockets yesterday. He actually told me that he's been using this method as well and it's literally guaranteed in v2 rockets over and over again so i definitely recommend you guys trying this one out i'm gonna go ahead and let the gameplay roll out just so you can watch the end of this video so you can see what streak i went on and how much xp i did get at the end of this game but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did enjoy it definitely leave a like down below if it helped you get a v2 rocket then of course leave a comment down below come back to this one and actually reply to me on twitter telling me guys what kill streak you managed to go on and how many v2 rockets you have so far I know this method is kind of considered a camping method, but in my opinion, it's the easiest way to get a V2 rocket, especially considering you don't get that many deaths when playing as well. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully you have a great day. Check out my previous videos on screen right now. But other than that, hope you have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.